99.9% .9 of AMD users have low FPS or poor graphics card and processor performance. Why is this so? What do you think? Because they do not optimize and do not configure their video card and the computer as a whole. Having bought the most expensive and powerful video card, you will not get the maximum FPS from this. To do this, you need to properly configure and optimize your graphics card and computer so that your computer feels more responsive and runs smoothly. Having configured your system once, you will not encounter problems with FPS, freezing and so on. As a result, you will get a smooth and enjoyable gameplay in games. In this video, I want to share a few tips and tricks that can improve the performance of your processor or AMT graphics card. Number 1. Pick the right motherboard. Let's start with a quick tip in case you haven't actually purchased your PC yet, because as always, one of the most important parts of getting the most out of your system happens before you even put it together. All Ryzen chips slot into AMD's new AM4 motherboards, but those motherboards are all built using different chipsets that directly affect your computer's capabilities. Not only does each chipset offer varied interface support for technologies like USB 3.0 ports and NVMe drives, but some chipsets support CPU overclocking and multiple graphics cards while others don't. Number 2. Update your BIOS regularly Usually, we advise most PC users to ignore motherboard BIOS updates unless they need to add a specific new feature due to the small but real possibility of bricking your hardware. That's not the case with Ryzen. Ryzen's AM4 platform is still so new that BIOS updates are coming fast and furious from motherboard makers. Revisions released during the initial months have greatly increased speed, stability, and available features for AMD systems. You definitely want to stay up to date during these early days for Ryzen. Just be sure to back up your existing UEFI BIOS to a flash drive before you take the plunge to stay safe. Number 3. Random Access Memory Speed Entering the BIOS and diving into the Advanced Memory Settings section, let me enable an Extreme Memory Profile, which boosts the Random Access Memory's frequency to 2,933 MHz. That 800 MHz difference is huge, and you'd never know your memory wasn't running full speed unless you poked around the BIOS. Enabling higher memory speeds directly improves Ryzen's performance in some games and applications. Number 4. Overclock it. Ryzen processors tend to have no problem overclocking to between 3.8 GHz and 4 GHz. You'd need a beefy CPU cooler to achieve the best overclocks, along with an X370, B350 or X300 motherboard. And not everybody's comfortable tweaking their hardware, especially because it voids your hardware's warranty. But if you're open to it, overclocking Ryzen can give you a free and potentially huge boost in performance. Number 5. Clean Install Windows Many PC builders perform a clean Windows installation when they build a new PC, but if you don't, do it. AMD told that performance is slightly increased when using a clean version of Windows installed specifically on a Ryzen system, versus using a pre-existing Windows image created on an Intel-based machine. We haven't tested it firsthand, however. Number 6. Change Windows Power Plan Here's a word one, but it can definitely improve performance by around 5%. AMD suggests changing Windows Power Plan from the default Balanced Plan, which balances power and performance to the specialized AMD Ryzen Balanced Plan. AMD's Ryzen Balanced Power keeps all the physical cores awake and hands power management over to the chip itself, letting Ryzen's arsenal of CPU tuning technologies work their magic. AMD's plan works sort of like a hybrid of Windows 10's balanced and high-performance power plans so expect to see your energy consumption fall somewhere between what you'd see using the native options. It's worthwhile, though. Number 7. Disable Windows High Precision Event Timer Here's another obscure tweak that can potentially improve gaming performance. It's been a go-to tip for possibly increasing performance on Intel processors for years, too. Make sure the system has Windows High Precision Event Timer disabled. High Precision Event Timer can often be disabled in the BIOS. Alternatively, from Windows, open an administrative command shell and type bigdedit slash dela to value use platform clock. This can improve performance by 5 to 8 percent. Overclocking aside, none of these tips provide major performance boosts individually. Add it all up, however, and you may see a significant performance increase in some games and applications, depending on your overall system setup. By clean installing Windows, tweaking your CPU clock and memory speeds, enabling the Ryzen Balanced Power Plan, and maybe even disabling the Windows High Precision Event Timer, you can inject a significant amount of extra pep into Ryzen PC's step in the course of a single afternoon. 
Just keep an eye out for those crucial BIOS updates. They're still coming.